Today, we are comparing and looking at all of the updates to our Delta Pro lineup. Spoiler alert, if you loved Delta Pro, you're gonna love Delta Pro 3 even more. Next to me here, we have the Delta Pro and the all new Delta Pro 3. And starting off with the obvious, we have an all new colorway for the new version. It definitely gives Delta Pro 3 a sleeker look, as well as enhancing the UV and wear resistance as opposed to the previous model. Delta Pro 3 is also slightly longer and wider than Delta Pro, and they both come in at just over 100 pounds. Both Delta Pro models have a wheeled trolley design, as you can see here, and we've actually made the wheelbase wider on Delta Pro 3, so it's easier and more stable while you're rolling it around. Also, another new change on the Delta Pro 3 is the fan location. So on the previous Delta Pro, the fans were located at the top in the middle here, and some of our users complained about uh, noise levels being a little bit too loud, so we heard you, we listened to you, and we redesigned it, so we actually move the fans to the front and the back of the unit here so it blows cold air over the warmer components and the back fans actually suck the warm air back out plus the algorithm will actually detect temperature changes in Delta Pro 3 and adjust the airflow automatically this means that Delta Pro 3 actually stays much cooler and quieter at just 30 decibels under a 2000 watt load. We've also overhauled the extra batteries paired with Delta Pro 3. With the previous Delta Pro, the extra battery was actually the same size as the main unit, which took up double the space. So essentially you have the same unit side by side. So with Delta Pro 3, we wanted to redesign the batteries to be smaller and stackable so you save space, and have the same amount of storage. We also changed the cable to a 90 degree cable, which means that you can push your Delta stack against the wall or backed into a corner, again, saving more space as opposed to the other cord. And the extra battery ports are located here on Delta Pro 3, and you can connect up to two. And good news, the extra battery cable is also compatible with your Delta Pro and its extra battery. So you just need to update the EcoFlow app and you can purchase these new 90 degree cables and you'll be good to go with your existing setup. Also continuing with some exterior upgrades, the new Delta Pro 3 has some new door covers. So we have the magnet tuck door covers as well as the door covers that are designed to flip out and fully retract into the Delta Pro 3 when not in use. Now let's talk about some differences on the inside. For capacity, Delta Pro is 3.6 kilowatt hours, 3600 watt output, and can run appliances up to 4500 watts with X-Boost on. Paired with extra batteries, Delta Pro is also expandable up to 25 kilowatt hours. And capacity to the Delta Pro 3 has increased to 4 kilowatt hours and 4000 watts output, and can run appliances up to 6000 watts with X-Boost. And Delta Pro 3 is expandable up to 48 kilowatt hours. So Delta Pro 3 has more capacity, higher output, and more expansion opportunities than Delta Pro. But by far the biggest difference between each model is that Delta Pro 3 now supports 240 volts. So now you no longer need two Delta Pros and a double voltage hub to gain 240 volts with the Delta Pro. Delta Pro 3 has it built right in. So in the front here, you can see that Delta Pro 3 has the 120 volts and the 240 volts right here, while the Delta Pro only supports 120 volts. This means that you can hook up appliances like your household dryer or water pumps. We've also taken X-Fusion technology from the Delta Pro Ultra and put that in the Delta Pro 3 as well. So when plugged into the 120 volt grid, Delta Pro 3 can bypass the grid limitation of 1800 watts and achieve a max output of 4000 watts with the built-in inverter. This is great for running any high demand tools like air compressors or electric drills, especially when you only have access to 120 volt sockets. For solar input on the Delta Pro, as you can see here, we have one port that supports up to 1600 watts of solar input. And on Delta Pro 3, we've actually added a second port that supports up to 2600 watts of solar input. 1600 watts on one port and 1000 watts on the other. These two ports actually work independently, so if you have solar panels facing different directions, they can still generate the maximum power possible. This way, if you have any poor lighting conditions or one faulty panel, it won't affect the charging efficiency of any of the others. We also added a low light algorithm. So on cloudy days when sunlight is weak, it detects this and optimizes charging. If the solar panels aren't generating enough juice for the Delta Pro 3, the algorithm prevents it from activating. This prevents situations where the Delta Pro 3 has to remain on, which could potentially drain the battery. Another difference between the two models are the two ports that I'm gonna talk about here. On the Delta Pro, we have the Infinity port, and on the Delta Pro 3, we have the new power in and out port. Their functions are quite similar since they're both AC in and out ports, and they're designed for charging the units via EV charging piles or pairing multiple units together for a higher output. But additionally, with the power in and out port, you can connect it with a third-party gas generator and charge your Delta Pro 3 via that way. Both units feature state-of-the-art LFP batteries. The Delta Pro offers 3,500 life cycles before dropping to 80%, 
and the Delta Pro 3 offers 4,000 life cycles before dropping to 80%, which is equivalent to over 11 years. The Delta Pro 3 can now also work as a 10 millisecond UPS, which provides almost instant power switchover to protect your electronic devices. So if you want to make sure that certain devices stay on no matter what, say your computer or your 3D printer, just plug them into the Delta Pro 3 that then is connected to the wall socket. And then when the power grid fails, they'll continue running smoothly without skipping a beat. If you're looking to integrate your Delta into your home circuit, there are a few different options depending on your scenario. For the Delta Pro, you can connect one unit to your transfer switch and gain the full rated output and capacity. But if you need to power anything heavier duty that uses 240 volts, you'll need to pair two Delta Pros to a smart home panel one or a double voltage hub to double the voltage. Meanwhile, you don't have to think about that with Delta Pro 3 since it has 240 volts completely built in. And you can gain up to 12 kilowatt hours by connecting three units together with Smart Home Panel 2. So with the new stackability, 120 volt and 240 volt output, 2600 watt solar input, and much reduced noise levels, is the Delta Pro 3 worth upgrading? Don't forget to leave a like and join our Delta Facebook group with over 70,000 members. Thanks for watching, see you next time.